Hello everybody, this is Chromos018, and this is part 104 of my Let's Play of Dragon Age Origins. I originally had this recorded, but I accidentally deleted it because I thought it was the part a part I had already compressed. But I didn't think to check and look at it first. And then I went to check the one that was before it, and it was part 105, and I was like, Oh crud, because I had not compressed 104 yet. So, I could have either not done that part, but the part thing it is, is that that part was the land speed, so. Here we go. There's still a few things I didn't complete that I actually did, but this is just for show. Because I had already done this. Warden, I am not surprised it has come to this. And Alistair, if you were even remotely worthy of being called Merrick's son, you would already be in the land's meet. Now, wouldn't you? You have torn Ferelden apart to oppose the very man who ensured How have I you turned Ferelden freedom. apart? But that do don't make sense. You will get past I've been trying to, to gather allies. The lands meet itself. The nobles of Ferelden will confirm my lord as regent, and we can finally put this to rest once you are gone. <sighs> do you not really not see what Logan has become? I have had so many doubts of late. Loghain is a great man, but his hatred of Orlais has driven him to madness. Yep. He has done terrible things. I know it. But I owe him everything. I cannot betray him. Do not ask me to. I'm not asking you to betray him. I'm just asking you to move aside. I never thought duty would taste so bitter. Stop him, Warden. Stop him from betraying everything he once loved. Please, show mercy. Without Loghain, there would be no Ferelden to defend. Fine by me. Still can't believe I actually deleted that episode. My bad on my part. My lords and ladies of the Landsmeet, Tyrn Loghain would have us give up our freedoms, our traditions, out of fear. He placed us on this path, yet we should place our destiny in his hands? Must we sacrifice everything good about our nation to save it? A fine performance, Eamon. Don't you mean Eamon? <laughs> but no one here is taken in by it. You would attempt to put a puppet on the throne, and every soul here knows it. The better question is who will pull the strings? Ah! Here we have the puppeteer. Tell us, Warden, how will the Orlesians take our nation about from Orle. us? Will they deign to send their troops, or simply issue their commands through this would-be prince? What do they offer you? How much is the price of Ferelden honor now? I have never. I don't know why he's talking about Orle. My character has not had any dealings whatsoever with Orle. Has not met anybody or for Orle except Dedella, but still. No one's mentioned Orle, so I don't know why he's talking about Orle. Yeah, the Blight's the real threat here. There are enough refugees in my Banor now to make that abundantly clear. The South has fallen, Logan. Will you let Darkspawn take the whole country for fear of Orle? The blight is indeed real, Wolf. But oh, you were do saying we that before. Grey Wardens at Ostagar. to fight it. They claim that they yes. alone can end the blight, yet they failed spectacularly against the Darkspawn at Ostagar. And yet you do and not do your research. And they have to bring with them the four legions of chevaliers. Because and once they need we open our borders to the allies. chevaliers, Duh. and we really expect them to simply return from whence they came. Yes, because Empress Selene is much more reasonable than whoever the Emperor was when you were fighting Orle. Hello? Yeah, you allowed Ren and Hal to imprison and torture innocents. But Faith got to get her revenge. The Warden speaks truly. 
My son was taken under cover of night. The things done to him! Some of them are beyond any healer's skill. Hal was responsible for himself. And yet he you will named answer him to the your, maker for I any guess, wrongs committed in this life. As that was must your choice. All. But you know that. You were the one who murdered him. Justly. Whatever Hal may have done, he should have been brought before the Seneschal. There is no justice in butchering a man in his home. That was not his home. Yeah, then why did you send a blood mage to poison Earl Eamon? I assure you, Warden, if I were going to send someone, it would be my own soldiers. I would not trust to the discretion of an apostate. Indeed, my brother tells a very different tale. Yeah, the other uh, guy in this girl. He blood mage as from the quest, result of the quest I turned into. Coincidence? Do not think the Chantry will overlook this, Terran Loghain. Interference in a Templar's sacred duties is an offense <laughs> against oh, the Maker. Uncle. Whatever I have done, I will answer for later. At the moment, however, I wish to know what this Warden has done with my daughter. Hey, I've protected her. She was free to go whether she wanted. You took my daughter, our Queen, by force! I did not take her by Killing force! Killing her guards in the process! What arts have you employed to keep her? I killed Hal's guards. Does she even still live? I believe I can speak for myself. See? Lords and ladies of Ferelden, hear me. My father is no longer the man you know. This man is not the hero of Riverdane. Yep. This man turned his troops aside and refused to protect your king as he fought bravely against the Darkspawn. This man seized Kaelin's throne before his body was cold and locked me away so I could not reveal his treachery. I would have already been killed if yeah, not for this Yeah, I would have warden. definitely killed her. And found a way to blame it on us. Yeah, she speaks the truth. So, the warden's influence has poisoned you. What have I done to her? All I've Nora. done is just give her a place to, to stay until this lands me. That's it. My lords and ladies! Our land has been threatened before. It's been invaded and lost and won times beyond counting. We Ferelden's have proven that we will never truly be conquered so long as we are united. And yet you're the one that's trying we to divide us. We must not let ourselves be divided now. Stand with me and we shall defeat even the Blight itself. <laughs> the Warden. I'm with the Warden. South Reach stands with the Grey Wardens. Yay! Waking Steve stands That's with the Grey three. Warden. Dragon's Peak supports Four. the Warden. The Western Hills throw their Five. love in with the Wardens. Make her help us. I stand by Logan. Yep, five to no one. No hope of victory otherwise. I stand like I said, with the Warden. The blight like six, is coming. We need the Grey Wardens. Six to one. I don't know uh, if there was a way to convince that guy to side with us that sided with Loghain. I doubt. Yeah, step down gracefully. Traitors! Which of you stood against the Orlesian Emperor when his troops flattened your fields and raped your wives? Yeah, like I you said, he speaks from experience on that. Even. His mother went through you that cared about when he was younger when the Orlean was too old attacking Ferelden. And content to even see what you risk. None of you deserve a say in what happens here. None of you have spilled blood for this land the way I have. How dare you judge me? Oh, be quiet. Yeah, we'll sell this once and for all. Then let us end this. I suppose we both knew it would come to this. A man is made by the quality of his enemies. Marek told me that once. I wonder if it's more a compliment to you or me. Huh. Enough. Who knows? Let the landsmeet declare the terms of the duel. It shall be fought according to tradition. A test of arms, in single combat until one party yields. And we, who are assembled, will abide by the outcome. Will you face me yourself, or have you a champion? I'll face you myself. It is you or me the men will follow. So, let us fight for it. Prepare yourself. Okay, for continuity's sake, from the episode after this, 
I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Even though I'd rather just make Alistair and Nora marry each other, but... Just to make sure it's all consistent with my other videos, I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Though I know that it's not going to happen. Saying wonderful. That makes no sense. He's dying. We're not dying. He's losing. I underestimated you, Warden. Yep. I thought you were like Kalen, a child wanting to play at war. That's what you get for assuming. I was wrong. There's a strength in you that I have not seen anywhere since Marek died. Well, I'm also using Marek's sword, I yield. so. I didn't just hear you say that. You're going to let him live after everything he's done. Like I said, I for continuing to say, already. I'm going to do the Wait. same thing I did before. There is another option. Patean is a warrior and general of renown. Let him be of use. Let him go through the joining. You want to make him a warden? Why? There are three of us in all of Ferelden. Actually, four if you, there five if you count Adela and there are reasons to have as many wardens on hand as possible to deal with the Archdemon. The joining itself is often fatal. Yeah. Is it not? If he survives, you gain a general. If not, you have your revenge. Doesn't that satisfy you? Absolutely not! Riord, this man abandoned our brothers and then blamed us for the deed. He hunted us down like animals. He tortured you! How can we simply forget that? Yeah, like I said, when I first did this episode, I thought that you could get Alistair and Anora to marry and still have Logan be a Grey Warden. Because I assumed that if you try to get put Logan to the joining, he'll get. Uh, Alistair will leave the party, but will marry Anora. What I had read before had been misleading. Or maybe I misread it or something. Anyway, I'm still going to go through with what I picked before. Joining the Wardens is an honor, not a punishment. Name him a Warden and you cheapen us all. I will not stand next to him as a brother. I won't. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah. He's being childish. How many generals do you think Ferelden has? We can't afford to lose I could any be a of commander them to or a general if you let me. want to survive the blight. Oh, but we can afford to lose a king? And the entire army that was abandoned at Ostagar? Yeah, Alistair's at a point. cost us all that, I wonder? I didn't want to be king. I still don't. But, if that's what it takes to see Loghain get justice, then I'll do it. I'll take the crown. Listen to this. Can you see how disastrous a king he'd be? Putting his own selfish desires above the needs of his country? You can't seriously support him. Yeah, that's what I, this is what I said before. I thought you guys were going to marry. And I thought the whole idea was to bring Loghain to justice. Funny how plans change, isn't it? You'd throw away a very fortunate alliance for petty revenge. Perhaps Ferelden is better off without you, Alistair. Yeah, I ended up standing by Alistair on this. You can't do this. My father may have been wrong, but he is still a hero to the people. Honora. Hush. And like I said, it's I was over. wrong. I thought Stop it was... Stop treating me like a child. This is serious. Daughters never grow up, Honora. They remain six years old with pigtails and skinned knees forever. Father. Just make it quick, Warden. I can face the Maker knowing that Ferelden is in your hands. Like I said, okay? <clears throat> yeah, and I let my character kill her. Or kill him, I mean. I still don't know where she gets the great sword from that she pulls out. Get that. I don't even have her to have a great sword. So now Alistair's gonna be king. I only picked so that. So it is decided. 
Alistair will take his father's throne. I picked Alistair before because I didn't want Roland to get mad at me because like this. if you pick Anora, she will All right. either execute yes. Alistair without interference I from guess you, it's decided then. And Anora, if you interfere, the lands meet has decided hey, I'll tell against this you. Moment. you must now swear fealty to our king and relinquish all claim to the throne for yourself and your heirs. If you think I will swear that oath, Eamon, you know nothing of me. <sighs> Come on, be reasonable. I know, I know. Reason clearly had nothing to do with your choice, Warden. We cannot yeah, leave Ferelden in a state of civil war. <coughs> we must have unity. <coughs> if she will not swear fealty to you, Alistair, and renounce her claim to the throne, she is a threat to us all. What do you want me to do exactly? Kill her? I can't do that. Yeah, I Alistair's guess. not gonna do it. He's too sweet on that. Put her in the tower for now. Lock her up. Maybe we can find somewhere to send her. Later. Thank you, Alistair. You show me mercy that I would not have shown you. And she's telling Very the truth well on that then. one. Guards, take her away. Your Highness, would you address the landsmeet? Oh, uh, that would be me, right? Yeah. Who else um, is king around here? <clears throat> I never knew him. But, from all I've heard of my father, what defined him was his commitment to protecting this land. I'll just tell them what to do. Everyone, get ready to march! It's going to take all of Ferelden's strength to survive this blight. But we will face it, and we'll defeat it! We'd better get going. Ferelden is depending on us. Anyway, like I was saying, uh, if you uh, support Anora after that little thing, she'll try and ex have Alistair executed. And if you don't interfere with that, she will. And if you do, she he'll leave and end up becoming like a wandering drunk you or something. You made me king. After all this is over with, they're actually going to put me on the throne. That. I'm still... I'm going to be the king. Speechless. I'm furious. How could you do this to me? I'm I've your done friend. nothing but regret my blood since the day I was born. I don't want this. I never wanted this. I hate the very idea of it. Idea? I knew really? that Alima wanted this for me, but I never did. I thought for sure that there would be a way out of it. But then you went and put me on the throne yourself. Why? Yeah, this could be a good thing. A good thing? Are you serious? Yeah. I've just never thought of myself as a leader. I'm going to make a terrible king, you have to know that. How oh, can hello. I make decisions that are going to affect the lives of everyone in the kingdom? We're going to be here to help you, hello. I guess I don't hello. really have a choice in this now, do I? I'll do my best, of course, and I expect that you'll be there to help me, right? Of course. Wouldn't have it any other way. Good. Then it's settled. Al Eamon has left for Redcliffe. He says the army has gathered there and is almost ready to march. As soon as we're ready, we should head to Redcliffe ourselves. The blight awaits, right? Yep. Anyway, like I said... Roland gets angry at you if you have Alistair either executed or if he leaves, like that, to be a wandering drunk. So that's why I picked Alistair instead of Anora. Anyway, I think I'm going to end this part off here, and I will get back to, you guys will basically get to see what happens in part 105 or whatever. Anyway, I will see you guys next time.